Hello everyone, my name is Teo Salvador. Welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. It's Friday. Normally I don't record on Friday, but I have a little bit extra time and I kind of like lost control of this week. Um, I, I recorded, uh, what did I record? The final station for Monday and then I recorded run eight and then I don't know what happened the rest of the week. My life kind of just went poof and like suddenly it's Friday and I didn't record the last couple days for some reason. I don't really remember what I was doing. Um, yeah, anyways, welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. If you missed the last episode, we connected Wilmington to Lansing. Uh, we upgraded a couple trains. I don't remember what trains we upgraded. I think we upgraded this one, maybe? Uh, going from Solemn to the oil refiner here in Fort Collins. Um, I think that's all we really did. Yeah, we have a passenger train coming in now, uh, going between Lansing and Wilmington. And, okay, hold on one second. Um, I think we upgraded our coal train. It wasn't the two episodes that we were upgrading the... Uh, we had some problems because of our sidings not being big enough. And for some reason, this train keeps wanting to go in a huge loop-de-loop. -loop. Um, this train goes to this station, and ideally it should be turning around to go back to Jersey. But it's not doing that. Um, so I want to say it's probably because this train is too big for this platform here. Um, all right, let's bring this train in and see what it does. I want to see, because this train keeps doing a loop-de-loop, -loop and it's costing us, like, millions of dollars. So, uh, okay, so it, it dumped the coal. How's our coal doing, by the way? Jeez, look at all the coal that we have here versus the iron. And that's all because our iron trains are doing huge loop-de-loops, and that's costing us money. Where's our other iron train? Don't we have two right now? Uh, we have two, but they're both missing. Okay, hold on one second. We gotta get our lives together. So it's the Solemn Iron Steel Factory Line deal. Um, where is this guy? Where, where is he? He's here. That's that guy. Where's train number four? Uh, hello? Where are you? Why are you there? Oh, you're the new upgraded train, right? You're, you're, you're an upgraded train? I don't think this is an upgraded train. See what I mean? They keep doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. So what happens is the train isn't big enough to fit in the siding here. So they go out. They go this way, past the oil uh, oil drill. They go here. They go around the diamond. And then they go this way. So they have to do a huge loop-de-loop -loop because they don't fit. Uh, which is what's happening, I think. So, okay. Ah, wow, that's really weird why he's doing that, though. How about we just watch this this iron train, then? Uh, you know, may maybe something else is happening here. Um, because look at this. This is what we're trying to fix. Look at how much coal we have versus the iron. All right. How about we take a look at this train? How many? That 126, 112. Okay, so this train's just a little bit bigger. How big is this one? 112. Okay. So, the iron trains right now are just a little bit bigger. How much does this guy have? 126. Okay. So, right now, the iron trains that we have are actually just a little bit bigger than the coal trains. So, that that's kind of concern. I mean, that's okay, because look at all the coal we have. But at the same time, it's not... Gr I mean, in the long run, it's not going to be great. I just... All right, well, while this iron train is going here to get filled up, let's take a look at some other things here. Uh, we need to connect Lansing to Coral Springs. And one problem, which I think I talked about in the last episode, is I really didn't future-proof Coral Springs. Um, or at least I didn't make it easy to basically bring a future here. Um, I made a terminal train station here, which basically means that trains are going to come in and they're going to turn around. Um, unlike at... Lansing, I made a passing station. So there's two, there's an entrance and then there's an exit, you know? It's not a terminal. Uh, which basically will allow me in the future stages to have bigger passenger lines. Um, if that makes any sense. So instead of having a passenger train go into a station, turn around, they go into the station and then they keep going to another station. I, I suppose what I could do is I could bring the passenger line around this way. And then kind of just have like a huge loop, make it go in there. And then maybe we could bring it to Coral Springs. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see what ends up happening. All right. Is this train ready to go yet? 
Jeez, we just had a whole bunch of stuff unlocked. Dunara Castle and the Dunara Castle. Uh, if they're the same ship. We also have Passenger Car with Clara Story and American Stagecoach. How wonderful. Jeez, $32,000 for that? Wow, okay. We might be able to upgrade some of our passenger trains, although I don't know if I really want to. Do I really want to do that right now? I Part of me kind of feels like that might not be worth it. Because, um, I mean, if you look at our passenger train, 10 people. You know, I mean, that's isn't this the one going to Lansing, right? Yeah, it's going to Lansing. Um, although, to be fair, <laughs> going to Tulsa actually has quite a few people. Tulsa, 38 people waiting to go to Wilmington. And then at Wilmington, 50 people are waiting to go to Tulsa. And where is the passenger train? Here it is. Is this him? Yeah, 42 out of 42 people, which maybe upgrading that with some new passenger coaches would be helpful. Although in the long run, is it really that helpful to have newer passenger coaches? I mean, you know, besides for the fact that maybe they could haul more people? I'm not really too sure. All right, let's take a look at this train here and see exactly what happens. Um, because this is the train that keeps going in the loop-de-loop. -loop. And so I, I just want to see exactly what's happening um, before I do any changes. Because for all I know, it could be something completely different uh, that's causing the issues. All right. Let's, uh, let's just slow down the time, shall we? Look at the beautiful train engine. Of course, it is aging. You can see the rust on it. Let's just see what it does. Because ideally, right, it should get to the end of the station. Unless Mateo is a moron, but it doesn't look like he was. Why are you stopping right there? Ah, why... Why is he stop... That's the issue. For some reason, he's stopping right here, and he's not able to turn around because look at where he is. He's not able to turn around right here. Okay. Interesting. So, you know what I think it is? This. I think it's this third track here. Okay, let's... Okay, so... Let's turn the train around. Because I know if I do this, it'll work. Shablim. There you go. And he, he will go on his merry way. Okay. So, it wasn't a matter of the siding being too... Or, well, I mean, it was. It, it was a matter of the siding being a little too small. However... Okay. Wait a minute. Mateo's got to get his life together. Let's see if extending this track here will do anything. Look at all the money that this train costed us just because he went in the big loop-de-loop. -loop. 653000 just to go from this station in Solemn all the way in the loop-de-loop -loop and then back has cost us like over half a million. Um, so hopefully doing this should help us earn a little more money. I am a little concerned about these trains not hauling half as much iron. Um, in the long run, that's going to create a problem here where the iron's going to eventually dominate the coal. That might not be a media, an immediate concern. However, it will be a concern in the mid-future. In the mid-future? In the future. And I would like to catch that before iron... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. If iron dominates coal, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. I mean, I guess if coal is dominating iron, it's not that big of an issue either. But I'd like them to be as even as possible. You know what I mean? I'd like it so that... Um, iron and coal are pretty much equal. That would be the best option, you know? But, eh, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe this is fine. You know, you know what? Maybe, maybe this is okay. All right, so this train is approaching the iron mine. Look at all the iron he has. 30, 336. It's great. Okay, so this uh, this iron train here has departed the station, and they're going to be going to the steel mill. I'd like to see if uh, extending this track here has fixed the problem. If it didn't, then what I'll have to do is demolish this little crossing here and put it, like, here. Although, to be fair... Yeah, yeah, uh, Well, mm, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. You see, I was thinking, if I put it right here... There's a switch right here. I feel like it's almost, like, useless. Maybe we just have a switch here, but they're able to go here? Like, I, I don't know. Man, I feel like that really kind of defeats the purpose of having this, like, a switch here. If you just have this switch. Excuse me. I mean, I feel like having this switch right here makes this switch useless. 
Because pretty much what I would do is I demolish this, this, this switch that we have here. And I would put the switch here. Because I know that the trains for sure will fit. But I mean, I, I almost kind of feel like this little section we have here is kind of useless. But what, what would make sense here is if we had a siding on the bridge, I think. I think if we extended this siding here, put it on the bridge, and then we single track this, and maybe just put like a final switch here, maybe that would have helped out. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, uh, this train's moving slowly. Um, he's just having a grand old time moving 16 miles an hour up a hill. Um, so while he's doing that, I would like to take a look at Lansing real quick. And we already extended Lansing just a little bit. Did I single track this? I did. Well, I didn't. I mean, I kind of single tracked it. What do I have going on here? Okay, sorry. Mateo's learning. Mateo's learning how the game. Mateo's clearly learning how to speak English as well. Um, all right. So I'd like to just do some upgrading while we're just waiting for that other train to go. Why do we have a, a third rail? That's a, that's a mod, apparently. Oh, yeah, I have a mod that adds third rails for, uh, for uh, what would you call it? Um, it adds third rail for uh, metro trains, if you have that installed. Which, normally, they're just diesel trains, but they're made to basically roleplay that they're using the third wire, if you so wish to use that. All right, so let's take this track this way. Um... Let's bring this this way. Ooh, actually. Um, actually, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. Uh, let's take the track this way. And I'm going to... If you would do... I mean, if, if you would just allow me to do this, that'd be great. There we go. Okay. And did I have a... Sw I did have a switch. Okay. And I put a switch right there. Look at that. Mateo's way ahead of the business. All right. Uh, one way this. And uh, we're going to put that there. We're going to put this one here. And then I'm going to put another one right about here, which, is that a good place to put that? Yeah, it's a fine place to, eh, is that a good place to put that? Yeah, it's a fine place to put that. Okay. And so now that this track is single, where's he going? I'm not sure where he is. All right, you know, we can keep building here. We have an oil rig right here, which is kind of interesting. Okay. And I think right here, I'm going to turn the track this way. And we are going to go this way. Oh, man. Oh, man. Take the scenic route, shall we? Um, yeah, 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 we're, I guess we're going to take the scenic route. All right. I'm going to go this way. And then I'm going to take the track the, ooh, geez. Okay. You know what? I don't even care. I do not even care. I do not even care about the cost because we're going to end up making that back anyways. Okay. So there we go. You see, I wouldn't have to do any of this if Mateo had thought future. And instead of making this a terminal station, Mateo had made a passing through station. Kind of like what's up at Lansing and what's here at Cape Coral. But unfortunately, sometimes when Mateo's doing this, he thinks of what's going to happen today and not what's going to happen in a year from now. Uh, so Mateo doesn't prepare for it. Just like a real life class one railroad. If anybody gets the uh, reference here. Um, to the situation that's currently happening with Class One railroads and the thing that, uh, yeah, the thing that happened with the Surface Transportation Board. Uh, just like a real Class One railroad, we think about what happens today and not what's going to happen in a year. All right, there we go. So that 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 looks helpful. Okay, see, I mean that that actually doesn't look that bad. If we have this, we could potentially connect to the coffee farm. We have a fish farm here. Um, the bad thing about the coffee farm is that the only place that takes coffee beans is way up here in Fort Collins. Um, and then we send another train down. I feel like that's just really expensive. You know what we could do? Something we could do is test out what happens if we take uh, cof the, the coffee from the farm and send it up here. We could just have like a test train and see if maybe we can earn some money. I don't know if that would work, but you know. All right, let's take a look at this train now. Um, geez. Okay, uh, we might have a miniature problem. Uh, yeah, we might have just gridlocked ourselves. Uh, why, why, why are you that, why are you not intelligent, sir? Um, yeah, yeah. Why, why, why do you lack intelligence? I hope that this train fits in here. It should do. But do you see, okay, so, okay. We have three trains here. 
And I'm kind of worried that the, 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 the iron train is not going to fit in the siding. But it looks like it will do. We just have to have some hope. Man, the, <laughs> I gotta say, the amount of problems that this line has had. I feel like this iron train has had the most love out of any of our train lines that we have had. Like, right now, it's the it's the most producing train line. Uh, well, at least I think it... Oh, see, look at that. That's fine. That train's going, this train's going, everybody's going, and everybody's happy. Why is he stopped right there? That's a little concerning. Why are you stopping right there? Why, why are you stopping right here? That's, that's very concern... Like, what... Could it be... No. What the heck? Look at this. What in the world is this business? Ooh. Ooh. I think I just figured it out. <gasps> These tracks are not part of the station. Oh. Oh. So you know what I did? Okay, we have to demolish these. So you know what I did? When I was building this, I put the platforms onto I, I extended the platforms yet these train tracks aren't a part of the station and so it's going to register that the station ends here that's actually really good to know i didn't think about that okay okay i guess i thought that this would have worked there we go and so this should have fixed the problem now right it, it should have fixed the problem hopefully ah okay check that out so look at that. Do you see now um, the train tracks are now, th this whole track here is a part of the station now. So that's good to know for the future then, is if you have some tracks sitting down, you can't just, it's not as easy as going in here and adding a platform. Because the plat, uh, I mean, why does it look like it wants to take that track? Interesting. That's kind of weird to me. Okay. It almost looks like it wants to make that track part of the station. Okay. All right. That that's that is kind of interesting. So, now that we did that, this train here should go all the way into the station and come out as it should have done originally. So, so let's just take a look at this guy and see what he does. This guy's going to keep going, that guy's going to keep going. We have another iron train just behind. Hopefully that is good. Here we go. I, I, you know, at least it, it gives this iron train some time to get his life together. There we go. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Boom. He's going all the way into the station now. Because now the whole track is... Ooh, man. Look at that. We're having production problems. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so, so that's good. Look at that. Boom. He turns around. And he goes on his merry way. Okay, good. So now that that problem's sorted out... The iron train's going to be coming in. Very good. And, oh man. Is this guy full? The guy's full. Good. How's this guy doing over here with the parts? Good. He's doing good with parts. Oh man. Oh man. It might not hurt to upgrade this boxcar train. This is the only train that we have on our system with boxcars. Ten million dollars. That's a new record profit. All right. Um... Wow, we have... To, okay, I mean, $10 million is a new record profit we have here. Perfect. Now, this was the first train... Oh, man. Jeez. Okay. Wow, all right. So, he still costed us money. I mean, th th okay. You know what... Okay, I'm thinking I, I need to double track this. All right. Um, you know what we're going to do before we end the episode? Because we just... We, we, we have just experienced a record profit in this episode. Um, sorry, I know you're gonna start freaking out on me. Um, let's go across the bridge. I, I think this is gonna be the best. Like, in the long run, I think that this will be the best course of action. Uh, thank you, game. Do, how does that look? Does that look good? That kinda, that actually looks really good. Yeah, okay, good, thank you. Um, alright, so now that I did that, we have extended that, which should help traffic a little bit here. Um, so now this is just one huge platform instead of, you know, having a smaller platform. There we go. We're going to demolish that. Uh, that should make things a little bit nicer. Okay. I'm going to put one signal in the middle here. I reckon I should put maybe another one here. I'm going to put another signal right there. There we go. Look at that. Awesome. So this should help 
with traffic problems. Now that the siding's a little bit bigger, look at that. So now trains aren't going to have to wait over here. They'll be able to cross the bridge at the same time. You know, maybe double tracking our entire system would be a good idea. My one fear about double tracking it is that we're going to have parts of our system, right? That aren't going to have a lot of traffic going through it. And so we'll have all this double track section that we're spending money on. Um, that, 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 that's going to just turn out to be useless. Jeez, look at the iron that we have here. 90, 90. And our coal production, or our, uh, excuse me, our coal storage is starting to go down. Would not hurt to upgrade this train. You know what this is. This is a perfect opportunity um, to continuously upgrade our trains. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade our coal trains to have 126 capacity, just like our iron trains. And we're going to end up having a third train on the system. So three trains on the coal line, three trains on the iron line. Um, we're going to have continuous production going here. And I'm actually really happy about this. Look at that, 70 iron left over. Would not hurt to upgrade this train a little bit. I mean, as of right now, he's actually earning us an okay amount of money. You know? Might not hurt to double track this. I mean, this is a this is a really weird single track section. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? Could be an interesting idea. One thing is, we have a town here called Solemn that doesn't have a passenger station to it. Um, that's one thing I just noticed is we have Solemn here. I love how there's just this town here. There's a railroad here. There's a town here that's getting zero love. We could do this in the next episode. But as I'm looking at this, you know what would be an interesting idea? Would be to make a diamond here. Hmm. Maybe what we do is we demolish this. Hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe we demolish this section here. Um, so here's what we should do. Demolish this whole section. And we bring this section this way and we create a diamond. Huh, that's an interesting idea. We have $11,000. Record profit. Awesome. Class 1 railroads are apparently coming into trains, uh, transport fever. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we have a lot of plans. This, this, this area right here is going to change. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to happen in the next episode. I know this episode might have been really cheesy, and I'm sorry if it was cheesy. But, um, yeah. I'm excited. Hopefully you are too. If you enjoyed, give it a like. And until then, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Shoulder, peace!